from Kilo Charlie 3, Mike, Mike, Sierra. Kilo Charlie 3, Mike, Mike, Sierra. Nice signal. Um, Fox November 30. QSL, Fox November 30, and Fox Mike 19. KC3, MMS, Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra Tango Romeo, Echo Mike 69. KB9, STR from KC3, MMS, QSL. QSL, 73, and thanks. KC3, MMS, Kilo Sugar 1, Germany, Fox Mary 18. Thanks a lot, 73 KS1G. KS1G, Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra Tango Romeo, Echo Mike 69. KB9 STR, KS1G, QSL, Fox Mary 18. 73. Kilo Bravo 9, Sierra Tango Radio, Nancy Nancy Radio Papa, Fox Mike 18. Nancy, Nancy Station, I missed the uh, last part of your call. KB9 STR, Echo Mike 69. Thank you, Nancy, Nancy 3, Radio Papa, Nancy, Nancy 3, Radio Papa, Fox Mike 18. Nancy, Nancy 3, Radio Papa, QSL 73, and thank you. This is the iGate Mini Satellite Tracker. It controls the Yesu G5500 rotator as well as frequency and rig control for the ICOM 9700, all built into one little package. It can update the TLEs, and it's ready to go. From the control software, if you click on future passes, it'll bring up all the satellites that you have picked and let you know when they will be up for communications. This is the interface that shows you where the satellite is and the path that it's taking. You can also change to the sky view. If it was up, you'd be able to see that. And then you have your radio control, your settings to do the updating, your rig control, and your whole control dashboard uh, right here in the computer. All right, so if I was going to get ready for my next pass, it's AO27. I click on it. It loads it into the controller, tells me where it is right now, and everything that's going on. Then I scroll down to the radio part, and I have some options here on... Um, so here you have the beacon. If you want to hear the beacon, you would click on that. It would engage the beacon. And now the controller is getting ready for that pass to control the antenna and the rig control. If I want to load XW2E, I click on that. loads it in and then if you scroll down to the radio control you have your choices for the frequencies for the linear transponder or the uh, other options so if we clicked on the linear transponder it would get ready to put everything in 
the control box for XW2F. Everything built into a nice, neat little package.